हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू एच आर गार्डन फ्रेंड्स दिस कैक्टस इज कॉल्ड मेमिलाइया ग्रेसिलिस और थम्बल कैक्टस टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट इट्स केयर टिप एंड आई एम गोइंग टू रिपोर्ट दिस प्लांट आई एम गोइंग टू शो द प्रोपोगेशन ऑफ दिस कैक्टस ऑल्सो you can see it looks so beautiful like a wool and you can see its white spine with a very beautiful tiny flower out here for their beauty they are usually grown as indoor like other cacti this cactus also likes to be in full sun they don't tolerate the frost so during the frost it's better to keep it inside or in a shade it should be grown in well draining potting mixer we can use cactus mix or succulent mix we also can prepare a potting mixer by adding perlite sand and leaf mulch it needs very less water water when the soil completely dries we need to water less during the winter thumble cactus also does not tolerate excess of humidity while preparing potting mixture if we have added neem cake powder and leaf molds we don't need to fertilize this cactus they are very sensitive to attack of mites propagation is done by separating the lateral sucks as you can see out here and i am going to propagate today this usually they are transplanted during the early spring but here since its potting mix is completely dried up and it has almost used all the nutrients from this potting mixture at the same time it has overgrown this container that is why i am forced to report it today i have to be very careful while reporting this plant because it is producing the flowers at this time now very slowly and gently i am going to take this cactus out of this poly bag so i have already taken out now i am going to keep this side as you can see it root has cover all this potting mixture and potting mixture i had used sand and leaf compost only as you can see out here for reporting i am going to use this 4 in pot which is well draining now i am going to fill this partially if you want to know about this succulent mix i am going to provide the link in the description this part is coming down so i am going to separate this and grow this in separate pot see friends you can see out here it has come out with its root i am going to separate this friends i got five offsets four with roots and one without roots i am not sure whether it's going to survive or not but these four are definitely going to survive but the best time for doing all this thing is early spring now i am going to place this in this container in the middle and fill the rest of the pot i am not going to disturb it root ball i am not going to remove any of the soil from here now i have placed this plant in the center i am going to fill the rest of the pot slowly because it's blooming and it's very delicate and moreover it has got the spine so and i am not wearing gloves at this time since it was becoming little bit difficult for to me to fill this pot so do it gently handle with care friends
now in same succulent mix i am going to transplant this pavis so i have finished reporting the mother plant and four babies i have transplanted out here in same kind of potting mixture one more baby out here in this pulley bag this is it for today friends take care of yourself keep gardening like comment share and subscribe thank you for watching hr garden